I think we can figure out how to build a grill. We're rebuilding the house. Isn't it like a dad joke that like you can't, like people can't build grills, like they're hard to do or something? Man, we're gonna be eating, eating well. Like, this is a problem with grills. We don't need any dumb instructions. It's kind of comfy down here. I didn't see any instructions, did you? Yeah, it's right here. Oh, geez. Okay, step one. So which screws am I using? A, right. B, C? A. All right, shoot, we didn't check the wheels. It should be locks on the front. Crap, I didn't pay attention to that. Oh, we did it wrong then. No, you got it backwards. That's the, you flip it around. B still, with the lock washers. That's those little lock dudes. The hose has to go on the inside of this bar, not the outside. Pick her up. Ready, power lift. There we go. So now, we install that. Ready. With, it doesn't really show whether, uh, I guess her holes down. These holes we have to indicate upwards. Oh, I didn't catch that. God. <laughs> I knew this was gonna be our hardest project of the whole job. That's what I'm wrong again. Uh, holes, it's... Yeah, these holes up. Yep. <laughs> Wait a minute. Let's make sure. I'm gonna need to put the oldest thing in here. They're gonna be cooking at midnight. Somebody here working on the old Weber. Smeber. Okay. That's it. Okay, so we're week two. We've just completed our first week. We've got I would say 90% of the demolition done. Um, what I'm gonna do, focus on today, we've gotta get this thing back to the rental yard. So there's a little bit of tile we can break down, the, uh, break out in the master bathroom. So I'll get Trevor working on that. Uh, we'll do everything we can possibly do with this, get this returned. Next thing I'm doing is I'm gonna start ordering some materials. So we need to measure for the beam in here. Trevor, come, come in here. So we need to get this figured out. I'm gonna either order a beam or manufacture my own basically like a glue lamb beam. Um, depending on how easy it is to get, I'm hoping this is a, a dimension that I can easily purchase. So right there we've got, so 16 feet's out here. So we're gonna be good with 16 feet, which is a size we can easily get. So if I, if I make this out of two by 10s or two by 12s by 16s, I can make my own beam. This is not carrying a ton of load anyway because it's carried there and there. This is kind of an in-between, but I do wanna do want to keep it keep it in play so we don't, we don't get too much deflection on the uh, on the uh, floor upstairs. What's the plan on as far as how you get that? So in? what we'll do is I will build a basically like a temporary wall to support what this is doing now. So outside of this, then I'll demo this. That'll support keep the wall keep the floor joists from sagging or anything in the meantime. And then what we'll do is remove this, slide in a beam, get it in place, put all, all my cripples in and then we can remove the temporary wall and that'll support what it's what it's doing what this wall is currently doing now. And then so, what about this post? I remember you talking so about So there's a, so this is getting framed out. This door will be no longer. So what we're going to do is frame this out anyway and because this wall comes and intersects right where this doorway is since I'm going to frame this out, I'll be framing in rather than all two bys we'll be put in a 4 by 4 post and that's what the beam will set on. So that and then we'll take that drywall there, pull that pull that probably have to open up that drywall a little bit and I'll be putting a post where this wall currently ties into that wall. And then the beam will sit on both those posts. So that'll take care of that. And then what we have to do next, let's walk into the master bath. I'm going to finish demoing this. What we wanna do is make this, take this ceiling up in the shower where the shower and tub are gonna be. We're gonna take this ceiling up, it used to be to here. So we're gonna take this up so it's all the same as this, and then we're gonna push this wall out a bit. When we do that, I'll be taking that ceiling up as well to the height, so everything's all at the same height. Um, that shouldn't be an issue, but that has to happen. I've gotta frame out, throw out this wall with another, with a two by, because we have to run plumbing, because there was a single sink here, now we're gonna have two sinks, a his and hers, and then there's going to be a 42 inch soaker tub here. So that will require, uh, Waterstone's got uh, making us a floor mounted hot cold with a spout on it for this tub. That'll get mounted somewhere out here. So while we're talking about that, Matt found a guy that's a YouTube subscriber um, and um, a customer of OG 
And so that I don't have to try to do this while I'm framing all this, um, because this is time consuming. He's a he's a got a plumbing business in Ocala where I live. He's gonna come out with a couple guys, his crew, and they're gonna knock this out for us so I don't have to deal with it. We gotta, we've gotta get this laid out, figure out where the toilet's gonna go. I know the soaker tub's going here. I imagine the drain is dead center because it's a round soaker tub. So we'll easily be able to put our drain here. This one's gonna get moved over into the shower area. So we've gotta get this all laid out and figured out before he shows up. Does that make sense? I think it makes sense, Michael. Good job, Mike. Hey, Mike, can you brew a cup of coffee in our nice Absolutely. OG Mocha Master? Because yeah. I could use a cup of coffee. I really want that Marzocco running. Oh, uh, but we got to get the La Marzocco running, too. That's that's key. Nice shot of espresso right now. Yeah. And you notice how nice the weather is today? Yeah, it's perfect. 73 degrees, so. no humidity. It's beautiful. And we're going to try to make this a longer format video because yes. some of the people have said, the videos aren't long enough. I want to see more. Exactly. So we're going to do that for these people. And we've got this area cleaned up. A lot of people have said, wow, we sure have a messy job site. Well, what do you think demolition is? It's messy. You, 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 if, you're a, if you're a real construct, if you're a man, you don't worry about this dirt and, and junk around here. You get it demoed, you haul it off, you clean up, and then you start building. That's kind of how it works. Let's make some coffee, Mike. All right, I got my chariot. My Scott's chariot is here. So we either call the coach, motorhome. The coach, that's what we call it. I need to start saying that, none yeah. of this RV nonsense. So I promise Scott, I'm gonna, you know, remember the rule, when you borrow somebody something, you return it better. So the plan is sonic tool chest. I wanna do a silenced Krenzel pressure washer system. Um, I'm gonna convince Mike that as I'm already killing him, so we might be going down to Scott's place after this. But we're at least gonna have it measured. We're gonna have it figured out, and I'm gonna be living in squalor out here in a prevo, you know, <laughs> in a coach. You knew Scott would have something like that, right? There's no, there's no other way around it. He, I called him and said, "Hey, do you know anybody who has a uh, an RV that I can borrow?" He's like, "Ah, yeah, me." He's, but we don't call it an RV. We call it a coach. It's like, okay. I'm a little disappointed Scott's not uh, de-nibbed. Gotta do some de-nibbing. All right, new plan. Mike's gonna do some electrical, and we're gonna run it right here. The other one's gonna come right there. This will be the safest spot for it. They can still get around. We have deliveries or stuff. And we're right next to the house. We don't have to do any kind of commuting. Oh yeah, I've gotta, I've gotta, the other coach I gotta sell. Oh yeah. Yeah, if I sell it, I don't have to pay. Ooh. Yeah, this one's for sale too. 600, 600 G's. Mike, you could can just pick this up. Sell one of your one of your many cars and you can finance up. these suckers for like 25 years. Mm -hmm. They're like a house. Yeah. I think I can. I think I can do. That. I was really nervous about coming to this house because I didn't think I could handle this, but I think I can. It's, it, there's some. I did two auctions in this coach. Mecham auctions, you know, where I stayed on property. Yeah. And it's just like you shut the doors. You pull the shades all down. And it doesn't matter all the craziness that's going on yeah. three feet outside the coach. You can see why people do it now. Yeah, yeah. you can just relax. You're it's at home. your stuff. It's all yeah. your stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we're going to run out here. Uh, I do want to do a wash and talk for you all uh, for Black Friday. Uh, so I'm going to do it on. Is there an animal coming to get us? I do want to do a wash and talk. Probably do it on maybe the R34 GTR or, GTR or something like something cool. And uh, so we're going to go out to the wash bay and make sure that he has what I need to do it. All right, so let's see what we're working with here. So this is the covered wash area. I do have a boom pole, but you're going to do a lot of work to get one out here. I don't know if we're going to have time to do that. Okay, yeah, I'm just going to have to bring everything. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Not ideal. We do have OG spec gun and wand. We do have, I have my 1122, which I can use, the one I've been carting around, or we'll make sure this one works. Yeah, I'm sure I'll reorganize this while we're at it too. I'm just making a little junction box for uh, the uh, RV, uh, wiring up Maddie's comforts. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tie this cord into a receptacle, put it in here, plug that into the receptacle, put the cover on it, screw it down, hide it under here, and then the other end of the cord, I'm gonna tie it right into a 50 amp breaker so it'll be protected, it'll be over current protected, and then uh, we'll be running off the house power. All right, so where we are right now, we did as, we, we've gone as far as we can get with uh, the uh, drive-on scraper. 
So they're gonna come pick that up in the morning. I just took the rest of the backsplash out. It is glued to the drywall. So I end up having to cut it loose and take it out. So I'll replace all this drywall. Um, Maddie's power cord is hooked up to his, uh, to his uh, comfort bus. And then what I'm gonna do now is I am going to work on chipping, chipping this out. So I think I'm gonna get my roto hammer with the bit on it and start chipping away at this, get this, this, uh, this barrier out as well as this, they floated this in before they set some sort of cultured marble floor in. So um, we'll chip that out and uh, I'll probably get Trevor started on that. And then I'm gonna work on probably cutting this drywall and getting ready to start framing this in here and laying this out so we can, we can figure out where the toilet's going, where plumbing needs to be, where the wall's gonna go, all that stuff. So now we're gonna take off the uh, backsplash in here in the kitchen. So. We've got some, elect some receptacles to move out of the way. So I'm gonna take these receptacles loose and you can see this is glued on, so it is not coming off without, it's actually stuck better than the floor tile. So I'm gonna pull these loose so we can get the backsplash off. Finishing up this bathroom demo. Getting this out of here. I take that top piece off, somehow I get the ladder. Wanted to get it too clean because we're about to tear the tile off. Got this room demo. Let me sit down and look at that. The only thing we haven't done is uh, we need to take this down and save this thing, put it somewhere safe. I bet it's glued. <laughs> it is. It is glued. <laughs> what? You need to you need to rent a sizzle just to get. I that think thing. we're gonna have to paint around. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's dirty. Like, look, this thing is never coming down. Yeah. The Krenzel's looking good still. Look at him. He's not even dusty. I know. It just repels everything. He's just chilling everything. right in the middle. You know. I just left it there. That's good. It's $127 off, Mike. $127 off, so it's 1000 Plus even? another 10% off and free shipping when... Um, wow. Free shipping. We're losing money on that because we're having to ship that heavy item. I hope we're not losing money. Mike, Matt, Matt we're losing money for the people. They should take advantage of our loss. Our loss is your gain. I only lose money on my own personal items. Ring that bell, subscribe, comment. I don't plan on working all that hard in the next couple of weeks. No, you're gonna be ordering and unboxing. Should we make a crack at the ceiling and make a dent in it? Feel, feel good about today or? 100%, no, we need to keep going. Or should we build our grill? So let's do the grill and then come in and, okay. and tear this apart. I think we can figure out how to build a grill. We're rebuilding the house. Yeah. Mike's been waiting for this grill video the whole week. This is a dumpy grill. Yeah. No, it's not an alfresco. No, it is not. It's not even a Weber. It's a Home Depot Weber. Let me sit here and get a good observation spot here. It must be for the propane. Yeah, it, the shirt does look good with uh, LZMFG. He likes that better. I like the symmetry of the circle logo. But he, they don't really use that low, that bolt logo anymore, so it didn't really make sense. So that looks pretty sick. Spirit E215. There's not a restaurant to be found for a freaking 70 mile radius of this dumb place. This is why you pay the dollars for assembly. Yeah, this is important. It is. Hmm? We have to be happy to work hard. Yeah, this is definitely worth it. This is a good idea by me. Hey, this is your sticking. Matt Mormon sponsored grill. Ah, no, you, I knew you were. Yeah, built there we in, go. Built in version. Thanks. We just cut a hole in the countertop and slide her in. This is the whole kitchen. Yeah. Step one light. Step two put steak on it. Step three eat. Two man lift. We already failed. It says times two. You should make this like 30 minutes of the video. <laughs> Like what in the world is going on here? One of these sides has like a, oh, the metal open close thing. 
All right, shoot, we didn't check the wheels. There should be locks on the front. Crap, I didn't pay attention to that. No, you got it backwards. That's the, you flip it around. It's quality. This is junk. Like I can feel the, I used to think, man, if you get a Weber, you made it. You've made it barely out of the trailer park. This thing is terrible. So just double check. Yeah. You, need some, you got me messed up there a little bit. Here. I'm just asking. Well, I'm then I'm verifying because like, what did we do nah, last time? We don't verify here. We just do it. <laughs> figure it out later. Hey, this is not a Weber. This is a Sweber. This is a Home Depot Weber. Yeah. <laughs> we say they took their lowest models. But you can build it. Can you build it half as good? <laughs> My gosh, this is junk. The propane tank weighs more than this. Yeah, it might. Pull it, Will. I'm telling you, Weber back in the day is pretty legit. Nice. That's really good. I mean, because you really need, it's it's so large. You need to be have the compact. Yeah, I need to have my spices and herbs. <laughs> yep. All right, so these two. Okay. Look at that, huh? Boom. You got a little hanger for your... Um, for your accoutrements. What do you call them? First bite goes to the, to, to the to chef the chef. Or whatever. Yeah. Right. Wonder Put in our gas. We got one yeah, flame. Yeah, buddy. There we go. Dual flames. So this is two. One's for your steak, one's for my steak. Only took us six and a half hours. <laughs> you know, the good news is we will never do this again. That's a heck of a steak there, pal. That thing is what? That's what I eat every night. <laughs> that is, uh, that's about a 24 ouncer. Really? I so I just that. thought this was a regular old average old steak. This is where we're gonna get some real good footage when we get this place like set up uh -huh. and we start doing some fun stuff like what this. What we should have done is included an outdoor kitchen in this here building. I, yeah, that's how I tried. How's this thing looking? Oh man, <laughs> holy crap. I have to turn this thing way down. This is too thick. Yeah, I'm gonna cook, turn this side way down. How am I gonna be able to cook this darn thing if it's not, if it's too hot? I shouldn't have talked trash on the old Sweber. Yeah, well, tomorrow I'm gonna start working on my comfort, you know? We're gonna be living here. I want it to be a good living. Nice looking, nice looking unit here. Old Sweber's gonna get the job done, Mike. All right, this is our worst performance day. I knew that today would be a well, you, you called it this day. morning, like yesterday. You said, we're going to set up the RV. We're going to do this. We're going to set up the barbecue. Yeah. So, I mean, that's kind of what I, I mean, figured. We're, yeah, we got to spend, at some point, we had to get set up. So, anyway, we'll, uh, we'll see how this video comes together. We'll see you tomorrow. Hey, everybody. Hate to interrupt this video, but uh, I never do this. Uh, this video is brought to you by me, Obsessed Garage. Black Friday sale. I wanted to make you aware of it. It is the 24th to the 27th, normal Black Friday day, Saturday, Sunday, and then Cyber Monday. We run it through those, those four days. It's the only sale we run. Uh, get things like the Merca polisher, the Krenzel pressure washer. It actually has an additional special promo going on it. Uh, we have the OG vacuum solution, or three of my favorite things this year. Uh, so go to obsessedcars.com, click on the banner image, or add stuff to your cart, and uh, take advantage of our only sale of the year. All right. So we're week two, Tuesday. We stayed a little bit late last night till about eight. Uh, Matt, myself, and Trevor. Um, Mike, you had a long drive home. So we didn't capture any footage last night, but let me show you what we did. I finished opening all this up. Obviously, I've got a lot of electrical move. We opened this up. This, we're gonna clean all this up today, and then we're gonna lay this out. And I'm gonna move this ceiling back so it's the same height as here, all the way back. I think about 24 inches. So this will be part of bathroom now. The tub will be here. The toilet will come straight back more than likely. So we'll get that up. This morning I had Trevor chipping out the, uh, the uh, I, this, was, this is the original slab Then they put, they poured over it with the membrane underneath. The membrane had failed anyway. It was, that's why that's wet because the, the membrane had failed so it was seeping into the slab. So that's done. Um, what else? We're just, we're just doing a final scrape with the scraper, getting as much of the, uh, of this crap off as we can. They're gonna take that back tomorrow. We're gonna to bring us a walk behind so we can get in the small areas. And then we're just, basically we clean up job site today. As you can see, yesterday it was pretty bad. Now we've got it pretty well organized. Got everything cleaned up. 
90% of the trash is out of here. The trailer's full. They're going to come grab that. So eight loads times seven yards. We're talking about 56 yards of debris we've hauled out. So even if we'd, we were able to get a dumpster, you know, it would have been second load on the big dumpster or third load, really, because we were talking about a 20 yard dumpster. So anyway, everything's clean. We're just going to keep on trucking, get it as cleaned up as we can. Britannia Tile's coming out to take a look at what we've got prepped, make sure everything's on par for them. And that's it. We'll keep you keep you in the loop. The YouTubers are giving us advice on how to be better YouTubers. And don't talk as much? They don't want us to talk a lot. Less off-topic talking and more constructing was the specific thing. Is theme. that really? So so who are these YouTube experts? They have their own channel with like millions of followers? Not quite. No. Not quite no subscribers, I should say. Not, not quite. Not quite there. Yeah. I wonder how much advice Matt's willing to take from uh, other wannabe YouTubers. Mm. I don't know how that'll work out. Matt's on a mission, clean as a vacuum filter, so okay. no feedback from Matt, but I already know how he feels. Yeah. yeah. He's, Let's it, talk it, to Mike, more constructive. More, more, yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I have nothing to say, Mike. I'm leaving. Trevor, let's go to work. We're not supposed to talk. Why do you still have the camera on me if I'm not supposed to talk? <laughs> <laughs> Less talking, more constructing. He's, it's still on. I'm waiting for the construction. All right. Well, we start vacuuming out the corners. Uh, what I'd like to do today is lay out the closet and uh, lay out the master bath so we can figure out what I need to order. So Sean's here from Britannia. We're just going over the project, just kind of figuring out what we need to do, right? Yep, yep, so yep. brought the team just to kind of show them what, what we're up against. And uh, you're going to start with flooring first, right? Yes. So, so the process is everything comes off of this wall. You have two four foot tiles on here that are going to be centered. Oh, and okay. That, that tile there when we, when we figure out that line that's our line for this floor everything comes off of this okay wall. so we got to get those wires in place then we're not going to put the wall in we're okay. just going to mark it okay just so okay gotcha gotcha so okay so all right good there. okay good um and then friday after thanksgiving we'll be in here grinding prepping putting down the anti-fracture membrane proflex okay. sim 40. okay um so when you come in here on monday this floor should be completely covered with a black membrane nice. it's going to really clean the clean the place up okay um, and then from there Victor's crew will be in uh, installing all the floor tile that's the plan next week okay we'll also have another crew that are going to be starting working on upstairs bathroom will that be ready no shoot <laughs> that was the yeah that's, that's the, the only place that. we have right now okay so the upstairs bathroom we were planning to do last Okay, well that's fine. I mean, we've, we've got other things. Is there anything in the master bathroom we can do? No, you've got to frame that. We have to cut slab yeah. to remove to move waste. Yeah. So really, it wouldn't be a good idea to be in there yet. You can tile up to maybe the doorway the or something. The bathroom is actually a different tile. Different yeah. Way, so okay. okay. This is Stevie, by the way. He's the project manager. Hey, Mike. He wears weird clothes because he's from Scotland. I like that. <laughs> so it sounds like our immediate needs would be to get the wall out in the, in the, yeah. in the closet and to start, you know, again, we were talking about get the master bathroom. Yeah, yeah, so we'll have to get that laid out and then get the I have flooring. a plumber that's going to come down and help speed up our time and getting the drains and stuff put in. So yeah. you, you could do some, whatever you need to do on this wall. Yeah. That would actually open this up so I could have maybe a couple of days get away from the wall. Then I can yep. bring um, Gustavo in. He can actually start working on this wall. So okay. that just so, releases that, which is a big part of this job. This yeah. wall is a lot of work. Thing I is, think we were looking at, or Laurel was looking at putting a linear drain in. If you put a linear drain in on the back wall here, yeah, we you can, can pitch, pitch it towards the linear drain. But then we need to get that moved. It's being moved anyway. And all that's yes. assuming to move a bit. To yeah. Over to here, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, That's gonna be tough Sean, to do you guys have drains, or do we? We have a Schluter. I mean, if you're using Curdy, which we were just talking about, which we could is a Schluter system, a... we can get you a Schluter drain, which can tie the whole waterproofing in. Okay. And for that look, you you have to be pitching in one direction with that yeah. size tile, mm -hmm. anything yeah. above six inch square. So um, that's I think that's what Laurel wanted to do. Yeah. Um, just so you know what we're going to do here with the, where this is squared off, like if it was there, we will put that tile in first. Sure. Where's Gustavo? He's done it many times. Right? Yeah. So he knows rather than cutting little triangles mm -hmm. as he's pitching down, we put the sure. tile in and then do the pitch and then we finish up to it. Yeah. Yep. So we'll need it. We'll need a drain. Whatever drain you guys prefer, we'll need that. Well, for, just, for if a... you can put this in, mm -hmm. I can I can tie into that. Okay. All right. So we're so two and a half inches off a frame to the center of the drain. Okay. Two and a half inches to center drain off of the wall. Off the frame. Yep. 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 Okay.
uh, uh, Sean's just here, the Britannia crew, and okay. we laid out the wall for the TV, you know, the big media yeah, wall. Yeah, yeah. And the, the problem is that the, the two sconces that are up there, okay, they, there's no way for us to center them up on no, the center I, line. No, we were taking those out. Okay. There okay. was going to be no sconces on that entire wall. We're only putting the sconces up above the, the mud room, for a better word. Oh, um, that's there. Okay. there and on the other side. Here. And I've taken them out everywhere else. Okay. Wait a minute. What other side? These are staying? What, well, yeah. What other side are you talking about? The, sorry. The two above the mud room. Yep. And the two above the window. This is all okay. per collect. What about the two, what about the the two above the front door? And then two, and the two above the front door would stay. Those are going out. Okay. Oh, boy. Unless. Yeah, not, not that simple. Unless we do a cover plate, a blank cover or something. Yeah, we can just do that. Yeah. Okay. All right, that's all I needed to know. That's perfect. Okay. Okay, good. Call and me. And what we're going to end up doing is they laid out the tile, the center line of the tile, and the sconces are off center. So we're going to effectively we're gonna move all this drywall, this entire wall, to move wiring, to move that receptacle to where the TV is going. Uh, to also eliminate that light switch, move that light switch out of the way because it's in the way of the um, wall they're going to do, the tile wall they're going to do. So as of right now, we're going to get as high as we can get with our ladder until I bring an extension ladder on uh, Friday. We're going to get as much of this drywall removed as we can. So that's, that's kind of where So we have a game plan with the flooring tile, with what we're going to do in the master bath, moving the wall. So we've got to kind of uh, work with those guys and, and prioritize where we need to have complete so they can, they can hide. Number one is this one. You're about to see some real changes real fast here, you know, in this place. But the great part about this is I feel a little stressed, but this is what we wanted. We wanted to do it fast, not wait weeks on yeah. helpers. Yeah, definitely moving along. Yeah, so I thought we were done with the demo. New demo. Eat that. All right, so we started laying out for the pantry and the bathroom. So the wall used to be here. We're moving it here. So this plumbing will get moved and come up through the wall here. Um, and then this is pantry cabinetry, okay? So there'll be a open spot here. We talked about possibly adding a dummy cabinet here to hide this and then run the countertop all the way across because otherwise it would stop here. The other thing is this is the door now. What we're gonna do is shift it. So this, this'll be the inside of the door and then it'll come all the way out to here now. And so I'm gonna move these switches and all this stuff over. This is for all the hurricane shutter stuff. Um, so anyway, right now we're trying to decide, Matt's trying to figure out, what I was asking him is this, this ground floor mounted faucet that fills this um, soaker tub. It looks like from the drawings from Waterstone that it is, is uh, mounted to a, a, a wood floor, like a, a subfloor with floor joists and then you would plumb from maybe underneath the house, you could plumb it. But since we're moving on a slab, I was asking him, well, let's see how it's installed. So he's calling Waterstone to find out because of So we gotta build a little box. Mm -hmm. Gotta cut a hole. Yeah. All right, build a little box and then they would put a tile, basically a tile over top of that, I guess. The other thing we could do, Matt, is mount that straight to the floor and tile the box. We could, Much yeah. Easier. Yeah, and it'd be, especially the way that, you know, it's gonna be tucked in the corner back mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. So I think that's the place to put it. Yeah, I think so too, back here. All right. Okay, so then the faucet's gonna go like right here, Matt. Okay. All right. So. Okay, so the, bo the bottom of the tub is 28 and 3 eighths. The top- The tapers. Yeah, it's 41 it's, and it's an It's like eight. a little hot tub, like a barrel. Yeah, it's a little circle. It's like a barrel. Look, it looks like uh -huh. this. 
Adam's too tall for that. I kind of dig this, the whole concept, though. It doesn't waste a lot of space. Yeah, because you hate tubs for that reason. Yeah, it's just, just so stupid. This doesn't take up a lot of space. It can be in the shower. You rinse it out all the time so it doesn't get all dust bunnied up, you know? Mm -hmm. I hate that. You need a big, stupid tub in your mind. I guarantee if I rinse mine off, it would be, you know, dust city. All right, so now let's, we need to pick our drain position. 41 and 3 eighths. So, okay, so tub would be like in this area here. So center, the drain will be right here, roughly. That's center tub, basically. Jeez. So there's the, there's the center of the tub right here. And then they're, do, they're doing a 48 inch slot, slotted drain Over against there. the wall. Yep, right. which is actually gonna almost run the whole length of the shower. So yeah. that's good. Yep, so if you filled up the tub and you sloshed it out, it would yeah. run to that drain that way. Can we tape the vanity? Yeah. And then we can get the full vis visualizations. Yeah. So it'd be yeah, nice. Just put a little strip and then run it left to right for me. And I think uh, uh, and then we can have a basically like a, I don't know what's a comfortable 30 inch shower door fixed swing in because this the nice thing about it is if you put it offset the swing it can it won't hit the shower head that's up here because in the helen house and the shower i use if you push it in it hits the shower head that's our ticket and this is a comfortable place to walk into the shower yeah i mean we could make the shower door bigger this way because it's going to swing and still miss the tub here's the only thing i'm thinking what what if we gain, we have room to gain, we could gain another six inches. And then that moved that door over 18 inches, like I was saying from the beginning, mm -hmm. which is what it was supposed to move from the beginning. I think that's the ticket. And then we gain a little bit of extra in the shower to be able to shift our door so the door is centered on the walkway. It gets our toilet a little further back so we get a little more wall to put our, um, put our toilet paper holder. Mm -hmm and then gains us the room for the tub to shift it back a little bit. Mm -hmm. Makes the shower a little bigger too. So what we need to do is now that we know where all this is, we can plumb. We can get the floor plumbing done. We know where, if we know right where the wall's going, that's where this has to come up into the wall. And then we have to come out at the very bottom of the wall with two um, um, angle stops and then run plumbing up and around and into the side of the faucet that's gonna bolt to the floor. Feel good about that. Feel real good about that. All right, so our plan is Friday. We're gonna hit the ground running, take the rest of this drywall out of here. Matt is gonna go home tonight, do a layout for where the subwoofers are going, So because they're powered subs. We need to run electrical for the powered subs. We need to run electrical for the TV. Speaker wires have to be run for center and right and left channel. And then we have to eliminate the sconces. So that means I can't do a J-box and then hide it with tile. We can't do that, that's against code. So what I have to do is run a home run from this light here all the way up and over to tie it into that light so we can eliminate those junction boxes altogether. That's going on Friday. And then next step will be to eliminate the wall in the closet and put in a, uh, a beam or a header in there to, uh, to take the load for the, from the, for the uh, uh, room above. And then lastly, I'll be working on the bathroom. So in the, in the middle of all that, we've got tile people coming. So we're kind of prioritizing it based on what they need to do next. And we got to stay out of their way and they're going to try to stay out of ours. So that's the plan. The previous I was kind of worried time. about this, but this isn't as hard as I thought. I mean, it's a day's worth of work, <laughs> I know. but I, it's not like a week. I love your optimism with the whole project though. I love that. It's good. You're like, you're like Elon. It's easy. Just Build a rocket it. tomorrow. Come on, hurry up. Remodel the house in 30 days. The whole house. We got this. We're only six days in. Just Look hurry up. We are. Yeah, yeah that's true. No, I'm, yeah. Demo goes faster than And the painters, we don't have to paint. We don't have to tile. We don't have to put the cabinets in. No, oh, I know. You know. Once we get these two big. We have enough to do. Yeah, we get these three big projects done, then we can start doing little stuff. Plenty. Mike's coach is coming on Friday. So. My coach. And then my your, coach? your coach. Yeah. Who's my coach? Your RC. Oh. Oh, coach, my RV. I thought you meant. I thought you meant your coach. I thought you meant Rick or somebody. I'm like, what? No, what are they going to do? Tell me what to do. You call it a coach. Coach, a coach. Yeah, it's my home it's, on wheels. It, it is pretty good. Like I. Okay, that coach. I got you. It was pretty nice. <laughs>
to just I go. was on a totally different wavelength. The only difference is, like, I'm rationing water and stuff. He's going to rifle through it in one day, guaranteed. How yeah. so? I just know. You always say I rifle through things. What is, where do you get this term? He's, he's going to rifle through it, fill up the wastewater. we got to figure out how to dump it in the driveway. I'm going to shower up here. Good luck with that. Why? Water's on. Yeah. Salt water cleans you really well. Mm -hmm. All right, we're going to get out of here, I guess. Yeah. Early, easy. We started early, leave early. This is this is the yeah. working man schedule, seven to three. Seven to three, that's exactly what we did. That's eight hours. Well, I was five to three, so do I get extra overtime? We were up at we were up at 545, but the hotel was a little further than I anticipated. And then we did make a stop at Starbucks. Mm. To get fueled up. Yeah. Just having coffee on site keeps you going. Go to obsessgarage.com, please buy stuff on Black Friday because I need you to pay. Like a lot of buy, stuff. Like a lot of stuff because. Buy more than you need. I'm here Here's doing your credit this. Cards. I'm doing this project for the people, for the entertainment. I'm just hoping the whole business doesn't collapse while I'm here jerking around. <sighs> so, anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks to all you Adam LZ uh, fans that are now here. Yeah, I'm try to subscribe. You this we long. can use the subscriptions. Yeah, subscribe. they're helping us out. Yeah. We're rolling. We'll see you yeah. soon. Thanks for watching.